Here comes the siren. Here come the flames. Champions, 1989. Everything changes. And yes, welcome to the channel. This is Mork or Mork, whatever you know me as, and as you can tell, it is NHL 19. Yes, I've streamed it. Yes, I've played it. No, I have not started anything with it yet. Except for maybe Hotter World of Chell or stuff like that, but I don't care. But this video is to introduce you to the poll winner, Calgary Flames. So, let's begin our dynasty. Uh, let's go normal classic. Uh, enter GM name. Ladies and gentlemen, when looking for a GM name, I tried to go with Lanny McDonald, but there's only 12 characters, and it looks weird if it's not the full name. So, congratulations, Chris Snow, the director of hockey analyst. Analysis, sorry. You are promoted to GM. I will show a picture of him on the uh, screen right now. Honestly, I thought he was the coolest one, coolest looking one when looking in like the staff directory and stuff like that. So let's get started with the uh, Calgary Flames. Calgary Flames budget of eighty-three million. I can work with that. Um, plays at the Scotiabank Saddle Dome, obviously. Um, yeah. So it's, I'm not gonna do any of that. So we're just going to continue to the franchise mode and GM mode. Here's where the fun part comes in. And we can't be fired, but if you want to see like a Twitch stream series or something like that where we take over let's just say the Buffalo Sabres who came in second in the vote, just let me know that. Mainly due to the fact that it's new or brought back. Uh rules and settings. I mean, you know what we could do? Let's see what we can do with the Flames in 10 years at most. Good retired jerseys will be on. So we can't use, like, uh, let's just say if they retired Lanny's number nine or whatever. So, welcome to the Calgary Flames. And here we are, new to franchise mode. Welcome to franchise mode. Our, our new scouting system, all new, allows for more control than ever before. Recruit, hire, and fire a staff of pro and amateur scouts for your franchise. Okay, cool. You can actually fire the scouts. Scout individual players to reveal attributes and other information to build the best organization organization in the NHL. Scouting accuracy. Basically, scouting accurate to unknown, obviously. The more times you scout a player, the uh, increase in brightness and fill more bars. Basically, if it is completely dull, they we don't know anything about them. If it's completely bright, we know everything about them. Any, That's basically that. The Fog of War. This is where it comes interesting. Fog of War masks the player's ratings, attributes, and other information. You will no longer... Have accurate information at all times. I like that. You would need to assign scouts to evaluate players and teams throughout the season to maintain the most up-to-date information. Fog of War affects trading not contract negotiations and evaluating your players. You know what it takes to be a real GM in the NHL. Alright, here we have the, the hub. Obviously, stocks and heat and all that stuff. So... Let's just take a look at the team. Look, take a look at the lines. Okay, this is exactly how I would hope it'd be set up. So we have Goudreau, Monaghan, and my guy Kachuk, the three. You know what, I'm going to make this, I'm just going to say this right off the bat. The three people on the cover, on the thumbnail, are the three people that I don't want to lose at all, period, during this franchise. Goudreau, Monaghan, and Kachuk. Everybody else, honestly, trade bait. Unless we see a good prospect or anything like that, like Sam Bennett or whatever. So, looking at the lines, we have Goudreau, Monaghan, and James the Real Deal Neal. I'm sorry, Louie. The second line, Matty Kachuk, Michael Backlund, and Elias Lindholm, who they got in a trade. Um, got in a trade in the offseason from the Carolina Hurricanes. And we'll see who they acquired as well in the later dates. Curtis Lazar. Here's my theory with him. I like him. I want to know 
see what's pretty cool i just noticed this you can actually do preseason stats which is awesome you can see like past season stats and all that stuff i like curtis lazar he's not in the thumbnail but i want to see him grow i want to see him be the man so we have curtis lazar or as i would call him laser mark jankowski 24 years old shoots left potential of a top six forward not too bad michael froelich oh boy this guy he hasn't put up a he hasn't put the production up but i still kind of like him garnet hathaway he hasn't put oh that was in the ahl never mind did well in the AHL, kind of eh, in the NHL. We have, so we have Garnet Hathaway. We have Sam Bennett. Now, if I hate how most of my guys are becoming top six forwards. Like, like a lot of potential are top six forwards because top six is obviously the first two lines. And I've already taken three of them. Like, Matty Kachuk is medium elite. Goudreau, medium elite, even though technically franchise. Shawnee Monaghan, medium elite. So we have Hathaway, we have Bennett, and we have Troy Brower, the aging veteran. Ay ay ay. Does pretty well in the playoffs, I guess. Season-wise, he's like 30 to 40 points if he's healthy. So he's not too bad. Ah, uh, perfect. Defense. Mark Giordano, and if you played this game before, All-Star Game, age 31. He's one of the guys I'm looking to trade immediately. I want him off of this squad. He'd be gone, and the other guy they got in that Carolina trade was Noah Hannafin. I really like the look of this guy because he's medium elite. Second line, TJ Brody and Travis Hamanick. I'm fine with that second defensive pairing. Third, Brent Ku or Brett Kulik, top six medium defenseman, eh? and Michael Stone. If I could get Mark Stone to... Ooh, Mark Stone and Michael Stone. Ooh, that might be interesting. Okay, so there's that. Any scratch guys? Alan Quinn, eh? Derek Ryan, eh? And Cesarnik. Oh, I love you. You were Boston. And then goalies. We have the aging Mike Smith. This, I think, is going to be problem area number one past the first season. He's 36. Most goalies won't make it that far, period. And if he starts as an 86 at 36 years old, he's going to drop to... Oh, what would I... What would he be dropped to? I think he'd be dropped to, like, around 82, 83, around the first... Um, uh, for season. And then we have John Gillies. I don't think he'd be a bad goalie. Medium starter. I don't think he'd be a bad guy. He did well in AHL last year. But I don't have faith in him. And our AHL goalies. Our backup is Tyler Parsons, who I'm completely fine with. Fringe starter potential. Yeah. And David Riddich. Medium backup. I... Problem area number one is going to be the goalie because of Mike Smith being old. Problem area number two. We have an aging right wing. Everything else, they're in their prime. James Neal can stay for the first season or two, maybe. Depending on how much he drops off. Froelich and Brower. I need young. I need young guys for that. Speaking of young guys, here's the AHL. Morgan Klimchuk, I do like the look of this guy. But, problem is, he's a left winger. I could easily use him on the right, but still. Left wingers, I already have four pretty decent left wingers. And then he'd be, at most, fifth right now. Tyler Grayovic. It looks like he used to be on the wild. Sorry, Courtney. Bottom six low, he's not going to do anything. He's like an AHL permanent guy. Andrew, Audie, if you can help me out with any of these names, that'd be appreciated. Andrew Mangiapine, 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 eh. Top nine medium, 
He doesn't look like he's going to be too bad. Hunter Shinkaruk. I liked the look of this guy before, but he's just dropped. Like, back around this area, like 14, 15, 16 area. I like the look of this guy because he had potential, and normally he would grow into his potential into like an 85 in that area. I would love to see him grow again. I just don't think it's going to happen. I could be wrong. Matthew Phillips. AHL top six forward. I don't think he's going to do anything. Here's a name for you. Spencer Fu. Top nine low forward. Eh, not really uh, expecting much out of him. Yasin Elise. Where are he? He's German. Yasin Elise. AHL top six. AHL guide. Brett Pollock, 22 years old center, AHL top six medium. I don't think he's going to do much. Buddy Robinson, I'm assuming he was on the Jets. 26 years old, bottom six medium. So he could have a potential to grow. But I just don't see it. And then Ryan Lomberg. Canadian, obviously. AHL top six medium. He'll just be an AHL guy. Rod Pelly, 34 years old. He's aging. Just And Luke Adzik. Pardon me again. That is the enforced... I don't want to say enforcer. Yeah, he is enforcer. Holy crap. He is enforcer. Oh my god. Um, I knew he was an enforcer, but I didn't think they would actually list him as an enforcer because there's very few and far between. Anywho, defense, Dalton Prout, he's like a scratcher. Rasmus Anderson, 21 years old. Now this is the, this I think could be a very good prospect, top four medium, top four defenseman medium. He's 78, so say we trade away Giordano or whatever, and maybe, maybe Kulik doesn't do well. That's where Rasmus Anderson, I believe, he could fit in well. Colby Roback, 72 overall, AHL top two. He's just an AHL guy, not concerned. Oliver Kylington, top 60 medium. He possibly could grow into something. Yusuf Valimaki, top 4 defensive medium. Uh, top 4 D medium. He could grow into something. And, oh boy. Adam Olas Matson. Just a scratcher. And Glenn Gordon. Not AHL top six. Mike McCurdy, AHL bottom six. Nothing important. Nick Schneider, backup. Well, extremely backup goalie. AHL starter, medium. Eh. Zach Fisher, AHL top six. Not impressed. Itu Tulola, if I'm not mistaken. Bottom six. He could grow into something. I just doubt it. Linus Lindstrom. AHL top six. I thought I liked him from previous years because he was a grower, but I could be wrong. Mason McDonald. Another goalie. 63 overall. AHL, sc uh, sorry, AHL starter. Medium. Not impressive. Oh boy. I'm assuming Swedish. Yes. Marcus. I'm never quite sure what those... Um, accent marks are in, on top of the O's. So I'm going Marcus Hoogstrom. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, obviously. Uh, 29 years old, defenseman, AHL top four. Is that not really impressed? Dylan Dubé. I kind of like the look of him. Top nine, medium. Josh Healy. Defenseman, AHL top two. Not really impressed. Austin Carroll, AHL top six. Possibly could grow into something. Maybe mid-70s. Not really impressed. And Rod Pelly, That's the guy we just replaced. Um, up next goalies. Tyler Parsons. Fringe starter. Meh. Not really impressed. David Riddich. Medium backup. Not really impressed by that either. Uh, let's do the uh, smart thing and just set up our trading block real quick in the future is drafting 2019 the very first draft coming up we only have a first round the islanders fourth and our fifth round pick that is it um just quick look around just to see who's on the trading block just to begin with and grubauer 
Drew Bauer's an interesting one because he's still kind of in his prime. Drew Bauer could be a potential uh, person. These Oilers are trying to trade away Lucic, Sakara, and Chris Russell. Lucic wouldn't be bad, but dealing with the Oilers is like the Bruins trying to deal with the Canadians. It doesn't end well. Hutchinson, first round pick. Yeah, I can't pronounce his name. Kings. Sodogran? Sirdogran? Question mark? <laughs> I did not realize that there's a person on the wild that sounds like Jens. Shout out to Courtney, the Devils, Travis Zajac. I will always remember him because in Hut, I traded away a Halloween collectible one year. And it was worth about 30k. So, and I got Travis Zajac as a gold rare player. So every time I get a Travis Zajac, a duplicate, I have to trade, I have to put the buy now price of 30k for him. Now, I did start this without having the Carlson trade go through in the rosters or anything like that, so Carlson will still be on the um, Senators. Yeah, as you can tell, Balkers, who was part of that trade, um, I don't think he'll be bad. I just, I wouldn't trade for him. That's a quick look at the trading block. Um, not contracts. You can now call... Ooh, you can now offer contract extension to players during the course of the season. I'm glad I went on this uh, screen. Players that are currently one year remaining are eligible for contract extension. Players wanting an extension. People who... Ah, okay, that makes sense now. Like, you can see Matty Kachuk wants an extension. And I will give him the money for an extension. Uh, Lazar, yes. Sam Bennett, yes. Uh, goalies. Mike Smith does not want an extension. Really? That puts a good... Tr that could... That puts a good, uh... Good twist to this. Taking a look at the free agents, just checking them out. Kerry Lettinen, Mason, Pavlik. Basically nothing really jumping out and saying, Hey, you should pick me up. Skaters. Lucas Abiza is on the, uh, free agents. That wouldn't be too bad. Um, Latestu, Winnick. I could bring, I'll be honest, I could bring Egan back. Whether it be for an AHL or whatever. Chris Stewart's still on the free agent list. Good job, Minnesota. Do I bring back Iggy? And let me know down in the comments. I think that'll do it for this. This is basically just the introduction and team introduction, all that fun stuff. In the next one, I think... Uh, if I can go to the schedule calendar. Yes, thank you. We'll do, um, we'll do the preseason games. Uh, yes. We'll do, we'll simulate the preseason games and figure out where to go from there. So, if, let me know any, uh, signings. Like, do you want me to sign Iggy or anything like that? Do you have any trade ideas? I'm going to have you guys be my assistant GMs, per se. I am Chris Snow. I am now the, not the director of hockey analysis, but I am the GM now. I need your guys' assistant GM's input. What do we do? How can we make this Flames team the contender? So, that will do it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like button. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Turn on that bell just to make sure you don't miss any of this um, content or any other content I produce and have a great day. See you guys.